YouTubers today, I will be showing you how to make uh, redstone lamps turn into either beacons or, or just how to use them in general, like such as a light switch. And just uh, you know, make sure stuff's not complicated to show you how that works. We will start over here with this rotating beacon, whatever you want to call it. First off, for any of this, you're going to need lots of uh, redstone, uh, redstone repeaters, dirt, wood, whatever you like to use. <coughs> for this general purpose, I like to start off with like, like a plus kind of thing. Oops. Like, uh, kind of like, you know, have the repeaters, kind of like that. But uh, one thing you need to know about the repeaters, uh, the back side of them, the way you place them, like, for example, this would be the front, whatever way the switch is like closest to the torch, is normally the front, and this is the back, just to something, something like that. But uh, you do need redstone to connect these things. In order to do this properly, you're going to want all of them to switch to the last one. And just for your lamp, that way you're going to need it a little bit off. But you can either use a button or a lever. What I'm doing, I'm going to have to use a lever. But you quickly like destroy it, place it down, click it, whatever. And that's how you get your little beacon. Now you can also uh, speed up the light twitch, whatever. Um, was there no. <coughs> and also, redstone can go through just about any block, but it cannot go up a block, for example. For a prime example, it can only if the redstone were to touch any block and you would put a lamp in front of it, it can only sense that lamp, meaning it could go and turn on that one, not the one on top of it. But uh, it can redstone can just go about through any block. But uh, yeah, and then lastly, but <laughs> last, um, if you like. I guess this comes in handy if you kind of want to conserve torches a little. A light switch inside homes. Um, it's a very simple concept inside a board. All you need to do is wire it with redstone, which, you know, I'll rewire. This is just how I wire it. You don't have to do it. But I did say redstone can go through any block. So wherever that redstone first starts off, where a lever or button is, it has to be touching that same block that the lever or button's on. And then you just kind of you know, create a little path for the redstone to meet up with that little thing. And now, this is only if you're conservative. If you like, you don't feel like using all your torches on your home, you can do this. And then they're there forever, just in case you need torches and you don't feel like money. But, yeah. That is how you do it, and also, uh, I'll show you a quick little thing, like, uh, some, some of my creation of what I used, my little blocks for, but, uh, redstone, like, as you can see, my house is torched up on the outside, so you would think, eh, blah, 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 it should be the same on the inside, and, uh, well, it's not, and I can show you a couple of things that I used this little methods for. Making some creepy hallways, you know. Yeah. Well, that's the end of my video, thank you.